Today a look at two Xeon D systems. This is a Xeon D 1541 at left and a Xeon D 1567 at right. Both are at the new BIOS 1.1C which came out in October and today's October 30th of 2016. And the machine on the left has <clears throat> 120 gig of RAM. It already had two 32 gig DIMMs that were at 2400 speed. The two I just added are at 2133. So now it'll have 128 total, but they're mixed. And I'm about to find out with you how it handles that. So we can compare along with the machine on the right that's all purely 2400 DIMMs, all four of them. So hopefully that made some sense. Now we just go and have a look, and there you go, 2133. Why is that? Well, it appears we still have an issue where if you really want 2400, you kind of have to work for it. And let me see if I can remember where to do this. It's been a few months since I played with this. Uh, on a um, 16 core, 1587, I believe it was, that I had temporary access to. And the settings are buried somewhere. I'm forgetting where they are at the moment. Chipset, of course. North Bridge Memory. Okay, so now I've gone to 2400, but left everything else alone. Let's see what else happens. We go to dim information. Ooh, okay. Let's do the same thing over here. Chipset, North Bridge, memory. Hmm. All right, well, it seems on a, well, I'm not sure what to make of that. Maybe they backed off on supporting 2400. I know that was expected. It's actually on their list uh, on the hardware pages. Not quite sure what happened. All right, well, I'll leave the one on the left, 2400, forced. The one on the right, I'll leave it at auto. And go ahead and hit F4 for save and exit on both. Okay, so we've saved this new config, and there's actually no operating system on there, so it's going to be a little annoyed about that. So the one on the right, it apparently made no changes. So we said save and exit, but nothing had been changed. The one on the left, we definitely changed from auto to 2400, so now it's going through the power on self-test again, post. Soon we'll have the bias welcome screen where I'm prompted to hit any key to get in. And I'm going to want to do that. If we had turned off quiet mode and got rid of this logo in the beginning, we could actually see more about the system at boot time. And that's actually not a bad idea. Maybe I'll take care of that on the right here too. All right, so soon we should be able to get, I should be able to get in the BIOS here on both systems. And I'm most interested in the left to see, did it get bumped up to 2400 with those additional Dim's added, and on the right, that's the machine that has 2400 natively in all four slots. So of course I should have changed that from auto as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that now. Okay, we got right into the bias, it still says 2133 on the left. So even though I tried to forcibly go to 2400, it ignored me because some of the memory really is 2133. So from here forward, the one on the right is gonna be a little more interesting in that I want to see if I can actually get it to go to 2400. And this has been kind of a long-term thing. And uh, again, the 1587, 16 core that I briefly accessed, the owner did get it to work. So, whoops, Northbridge, memory, memory frequency, change it to the max, which is 2400. All right, I'm gonna hit force POR. I feel like might have been the setting. I might still have to work on this a little harder. So on the left, I can hit F4, save changes and exit. Nothing really changed. On the right, do the same. And since nothing really changed, it went through with the UEFI bias and found no boot target on the left. So that's expected. On the right, it's taking longer because we changed from auto to 2400 forced. 
I did mean to go in and turn off Quiet Boot, which would have kept that Super Micro logo, kind of ASCII text logo, really, uh, from blocking the negotiated speed of the memory. But getting around that is easy enough. I just need to hit Delete to get into the BIOS configuration. So this is interesting, though, the behavior already. Um, definitely the kind of thing you want to watch th through each build. And then um, there'll be a new IPMI 3.31, perhaps, or later, coming out for Xeon Ds. It's taking very long to roll that out across all the different Xeon D models. Not quite sure why. But anyhow, at this moment in time, October 30th, 2016, BIOS 1.1c paired with firmware for IPMI 3.26, it's giving me some trouble trying to get memory recognized natively at the full 2400 speed. Does it matter? Not much. There's very little speed difference these days. You might notice it on a synthetic benchmark. Nevertheless, a few months ago, oh shoot, somehow I missed it. A few months ago, Wired Zone just went and quietly upgraded the memory type when Supermicro supported the higher memory type. That was to match what the factory's doing. Um, hmm. Seem to be routinely missing keystrokes now to get into IKVM. Not quite sure how I managed to miss both of them. But I'll try to be quick in the draw this time and hit the delete, delete key on the machine on the right exactly at the moment it is ready for me. Now, if this doesn't work, I'm going to Google around a little bit for my own previous article about the ZND 1587 16 core variant here okay got into setup getting ready to do the same on the left because the machine's kind of far from me right now you're not hearing the speaker beep at the end but if you bought a bundle from wired zone you have a nice optional speaker pre-installed for it and when you're in the machine it beeps prompting you to pay attention and hit some keys to get in the bias for instance or to do nothing and let it reboot. All right, how do we do? Not so well, still 2133 on both sides. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I need to Google around for a little bit here. And uh, come on, Chrome, there we go, it's better. So there's a few articles, well, not very many. This is the announcement of the memory boost. All right, looks like I may not have documented it very well on what to do about this. Go back into Northbridge, go to memory config, and turn off enforced POR. If, oh, and escape out, go to boot feature, and quiet boot off. Same deal here. Uh, since the memory is definitely mixed in the left, and the auto is working out fine, I don't really want to be forcing anything. So I could go back to the factory default, which was let auto do its thing. Okay, and back to boot feature. Quiet boot also disabled. F4 to save and exit. F4 to save and exit. Okay, so now we watch the two systems boot side by side. And we wait and see if finally I've gotten success to get 2400 memory speed on the system on the right. I'm doing this video for multiple reasons. One, to show how to get to 2400, hopefully successfully, with BIOS 1.1c, which I've never tried. But also to show what happens if you have mixed memory. Is it a big deal? Is it a problem? And uh, shouldn't be hard to convince myself that there's no problem with that, no difference. As far as, you know, stability or, or booting or any of that, it should act just like a machine that has all one speed 
of memory. Okay, so I was wrong. This boot takes a while, but it also does not show you the memory speed until the very end. So turning on quiet boot probably didn't help much. Just got rid of the Supermicro logo on this screen, which doesn't tell you a whole lot at this early boot process anyway, other than some stuff in the bottom left and a little bit about the video adapter you just saw. Okay, there's the speed though, 2133 in the left and 2133 in the right. Darn. So now at this point, I'm starting to run short on things to try. And it looks like I missed getting in the bias as well. All right, I'm gonna go back to that article. Let's see if we have someone forcing this. We have an email actually about uh, what was done to force the memory speed. This is too old an article to have anything about 2400, I think. Yep, it did not come up. Okay, here's an excellent article, and you can see on this particular benchmark, um, A bit of a difference in speed, okay, 12.5%. Not that big a deal, but it's not nothing either. Now, let's see if Patrick Kennedy, the author here, mentioned anything about how to do something in the bias to get it to recognize. It appears no. All right. So I'm going to pause uh, recording a little bit here. I'll get back in the bias. I'm going to research if my email gives me a tip on what the user of the 1587 did to actually get 2400 recognized at 2400. But that was on a different bias level, so it's possible I will fail here on 1.1c. I'll have to see. So I'll be right back in a little bit with a little bit of research. Hang on. Okay, I went and looked, and it appears that the email is not clear at all whether the other person got it working at 2400 either. At least under VMware ESXi, when it came up, saying something about um, bias didn't seem to go past 2133, or as far as the system. So not a whole lot else I can try. I think this now has become a maybe kind of a bug report video for Supermicro rather than a report of success with getting to 2400. So it's kind of been a long time coming. I'm disappointed that this bias one that 1C did not address this apparently. And uh, maybe someone watching this video will spot something else that I could have tried but didn't that might have gotten the memory recognized at the full 2400. So uh, I also gave you a peek at a video that promises that you know possibly we can get 12% more on a certain benchmark right here called Stream. But, uh, you know, hard to say. That was way back in March. So presumably, at some point back then, for instance, the bias was supporting it. Wow, did I hit delete key or did I hit the wrong window there? Missed it again. So, yeah, now it becomes a, a bit of a mystery um, chasing what's going on here and working with Supermicro support to see if I can get to 2400. Machine on the right is not even mixed brands. It's all Samsung branded, I believe, 2400 speeds. I'll take some pictures, probably have an article that I linked to uh, overlaying this video and in the description on the YouTube page for the video. So you would want to be sure to check that out. Pretty much all my videos have an article to go with them over at tinkertry.com. So I think I'll wrap up this video with one last entrance into the biased settings, head over the memory tab, and then just take one more look at all the settings there to see if like there to see if there looks like there's anything else that might assist. Okay, entering setup, I saw those words, so it got my keystroke. 
all the more reason it's handy to have a speaker nearby because you've seen me blow it and miss getting in a few times. Heading back over to Northbridge. Memory. Sure doesn't it seem like we'd want to change those. All right, well, at this point, probably gonna just move along and uh, send this over to Super Micro and um, open a trouble ticket under it and see what happens. But uh, I'll try to do an update once I get this matter resolved. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com. If you found a way to get to 2400, don't hesitate to contact me. There's a comments link right underneath all my articles, including the one that'll go with this video. Thanks again.